Now let's do multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction of fraction all together. Para makita nyo yung difference at hindi nyo makakalimutan kung paano siya isolve. Let's do first multiplication. When we do multiplication, just multiply numerator to numerator at denominator to denominator at always simplify natin yung sagot, yung answer. So this one is 3 times 2 equals 6, 4 times 5 equals 20. Let's simplify this by finding the greatest common factor. Mayroon tayong separate video on how to find the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor nito ay 6 divided by 2 equals 3, 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So ang sagot dito ay 3 over 10. Mag-recap lang tayo. So 3 times 2 equals 6, 4 times 5 equals 10. 20. At sinisimplify natin itong 6 over 20 by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Now, let's do division. When it comes to division, si dividend, ito yung dividend natin, kopyahin si dividend, at si division maging multiplication, at ang divisor, reciprocal niya, 5 over 2. Now, we can multiply. 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 2 equals 8. 15 over 8, pwede pa natin simplify. Isa, isa natin para klaro lang sa inyo. 15 divided by 8. Ilang 8 ba si 15? Isa lang. 1 times 8 equals 8. 15 minus 8 equals 7. Therefore, ang sagot dito, ito yung whole number na 1, 7, iyan yung numerator natin, at si 8, kopyahin lang yan yung denominator natin. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 and 7 over 8. Mag-recap lang tayo. When it comes to division, itong dividend, kopyahin lang, si division maging multiplication, si divisor reciprocal niya 5 over 2. Pwede na tayong mag-multiply 3 times 5 equals 15, 4 times 2 equals 8. Si 15 over 8 in proper fraction, pwede natin simplify 15 divided by 8 equals 1. 1 times 8 equals 8. So, 15 minus 8 equals 7. Si 1, yan yung whole number natin. Tapos, si 7 na remainder, yan yung numerator natin. At kopyahin or si divisor natin ay yung Eight. Kopyahin yung denominator na 8. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 and 7 over 8. Now, let's do addition of fraction. When it comes to addition and subtraction, dapat itong numerator natin ay hanapin, hanapan natin ng least common denominator. We have a separate video on how to find the least common denominator. Ang least common denominator nila ay 20. Erase ko muna to. Dito natin ilagay si 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. Plus, so least common denominator natin ay 20. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now, pwede na natin i-add. Kopyahin si denominator na 20. Yung numerator lang ang i-add natin. 15 plus 8, and that is 23. Again, pwede natin itong malist or masimplify. 23 divided by 20 equals 1 ito. And then 1 times 20 equals 20. 23 minus 20 equals 3. So therefore, ito yung whole number natin. 3, yan yung numerator at kopyahin si denominator na 20. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 and 3 over 20. Another way, ito yung numerator natin si 23 over 20. 23 minus 20, so, mayroon kang 3. Yung 20, sulat ko nga para mas klaro sa inyo, 23 minus 20. Bali, 23 over 20. Isipin mo na lang kung ilang 20 itong 23. Isa lang. 
nag-minus ako kasi yung remainder na yan, yan na yung numerator natin para mas madali ba? Para mas, yun, yun yung shortcut. So, kung 23, i-minus mo siya dito sa denominator mo, and that is 3. Yan na yung numerator mo. Tapos, kopyahin si denominator na 20. Another way. Let's do the butterfly method. 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 5 equals 20. Now, pwede na natin, pwede na tayong mag-add. 15 plus 8 equals 23. Tapos, kopyahin si 20. 23 over 20, pag masimplify mo na siya, that is 1 and 3 over 20. Klaruhin ko lang, ang butterfly method ay hindi siya pwede kapag ganito. Example, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. Kasi ang least common denominator nito ay 8. Nandito ang least common denominator. Kapag wala dyan ang least common denominator, pwede natin gamitan ng butterfly method. Kasi kapag ito, gamitan mo ng butterfly method, i-multiply mo man si denominator for uh, times 8 equals 32. Ang least common denominator nito ay hindi 32. So, hindi siya pwede, pag ganito, hindi siya pwede na butterfly method. Ma butterfly mess, ang butterfly method ay nag ginagamit lang kapag ang least common denominator natin ay wala sa denominators. Now, let's do the subtraction of fraction. Itong subtraction, pariho lang sa addition. Kasi hanapan natin ng least common denominator at ang least common denominator nito ay 20. In other words, kopyahin lang natin anong meron dito. Ang, ang kakaiba lang nila ay mayroon tayong subtraction. So, this is 8 over 20 kasi pariho lang sila. I-convert mo lang sila in such a way na pariho yung denominators nila. Ngayon, kopyahin ang denominator na 20 at si ang mga numerators ay 15 minus 8 equals 7. So, ang sagot dito ay 7 over 20. Let's do the butterfly method. 3 times 5 equals 15. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 5 equals 20. So, itong 20 na to, yan yung kopyahin natin. Para ito lang pala, i-delete natin yan. So, Itong 20, yan yung denominator natin. 15 minus 8, and that is 7. So, ang sagot dito ay 7 over 20. Let's recap all these operations. When it comes to multiplication, idiritso mo lang siya. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, tapos isimplify mo. Next, sa division, kopyahin si dividend. Tapos, si division, uh, si division sign maging multiplication. And then, si uh, divisor, reciprocal niya. So, ito, 2 over 5 nagiging 5 over 2. Next, sa addition at subtraction, yung mga denominators niya, dapat hanapan natin ng least common denominator. Tapos, kopyahin ang denominator. Tapos, yung numerator natin, mga numerators, yan yung i-add natin or i-subtract. I hope after watching this video, alam nyo na ang difference between multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction of fractions.